Are you sick and tired of thinking small, not getting to where you want to get, not moving fast enough, and only moving if this is your growth, moving like this versus like that? Why does this happen and not this? Very simple. People who go like this, they think in terms of scaling. Everything they do, they ask themselves, how can I multiply what I have? Just like a speaker that when you have a microphone, you have an input, basically the microphone, your microphone, the one that I'm talking to is getting a sound. And then the microphone takes that input, processes it, and then it goes output, output into a speaker. And the speaker puts out very loud sounds. Now, what happens if you put the uh, the input, the microphone, next to the speaker? You basically get a feedback loop that's amplifying because it goes like this, it goes like this, it goes like this. So, this thing here is actually the secret to scaling. It's actually the secret to going from, let's say, ten thousand dollars a month to a hundred thousand a month to a million dollars a month and so on and so forth how do you do that how do you scale the answer is here it's in a feedback loop you want to create a business where whatever money you make it goes out you know you put an action in you do something it generates money hopefully profit more money than you spent in terms of energy and then you took that profit you take that profit and you use it to multiply the business, use it to blow up, use it to hire new people, invest in more marketing, make again, bigger staff, better processes, just go big, go bold, go multiply. And when you do that, when you hire more people, when you increase your marketing budget, you're basically increasing your footprint and the increasing size is always exponential. It looks like this. You start out like a, this kind of circle and then Everything inside here, you, you eat up. This is your client base. This is the people who know you. And then when you grow, notice that everything grows in multiples. So now if you grow three times, you actually take up a lot more space. If you actually calculate how much uh, just surface is here versus this whole thing, you'll see that this is not three times bigger. Even though you grew three times, it's actually about 12 times bigger because it's a power multiple. So... Start thinking in terms of scale. Think in terms of multiplying. How can I multiply my time? How can I get somebody, let's say you own a business and you give the service. How can I multiply myself by having five people give the same service to five times more clients? How can I multiply myself? If you're selling, to have five times more people selling. It's all about thinking in terms of processes. How can I take this process, the sales process, break it down into specific actions and then get somebody else to do it? How can I break down the service I'm giving and break it down into specific actions and get somebody to do it? Start thinking in terms of processes, in terms of scaling, in terms of feedback loops, in terms of massive growth. And this is when you're going to start seeing really, really big shifts in your life. And my last tip for you for today is to start thinking very basically in 10x. What does 10x mean? It means take whatever you want to get to, multiply it 10 times. So if you're currently making... $10,000 a month, and you want to get to, let's say, $20,000 a month, make that an extra zero. So 10x, 10 times, add an extra zero. Why would you do that? Because the vehicle that can get you from 10 to 20,000 is not the same vehicle that can get you 200,000. So when you start thinking this big, you realize that you cannot do this with increments. You cannot get from 10 to 200,000 with increments, with more hours, with slightly better efficiency, with the same staff. You want to grow 10 times? You got to change something about the, the vehicle. Again, think this is like a Kia Picanto. This is like a just a regular car. Okay, it can get to, let's say, 130 miles an hour at, at most. And let's say you put in a serious engine in it and you improve it and you make it aerodynamic. Well, now you can get to 150 miles per hour. Good job. The same performance you can get from a Mustang, let's say a Mustang GT car, a muscle car, can get to this same speed at a fifth of the effort. 
because it's a much more efficient engine. It's a better car. So you can't get from 10,000 to 200,000 with a Kia Picanto. You have to change the vehicle. And this is why setting 10x goals is so important because it makes you think in multiples. It makes you realize that the vehicle you're using is not yet good enough. It's not strong enough. It's not big enough to support the growth. You cannot get there incrementally. If you get from this to this in a Kia Picanto, you're going to break the car. It's not meant for that. But if you go from this to this with a Lamborghini, 150 miles per hour is nothing for a Lamborghini. Hope this video makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help answer and give you some clear guidance. Please use punctuation and please write very clear, specific questions. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure to get go ahead and sign up for a consultation session with me in the description below or get my ebook for just $9.99. I'll see you in the next video and feel free to subscribe. See you soon. Thank you.